All right, today we're gonna install a Google Nest thermostat from that guy over there. So here's the Google Nest thermostat. Open this up. There it is. Pretty nice, right? It's got batteries already installed, plastic pull tabs. Let's take this guy off. Some instructions. And then here is the base unit right here. So I'll go over that guy and it comes with mounting screws. It's really nice. So let's go ahead and get this going. First thing we're gonna do is go over here, take our mode, and we're gonna switch it to the off position. Second thing we're going to do is come downstairs and we're going to turn our system off. Now, what's important about that is that we killed the low voltage because basically this is generating the 24 volts, 110 to 24 volts that's being used on that system. So if you don't know what voltage your system is or don't know how to turn it off or where to lock it out at, um, not sure if you want to take on one of these jobs because that's one of the main things is knowing the voltage that you're working with. Okay, back upstairs, I've already done this step for everybody else. Go to g.co slash nest slash works and verify compatibility. And what they're gonna ask you to do is go to your thermostat. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take mine off which is just pushing up on that guy. There we go, thermostat comes off. And then verify your wiring. I'm using, I don't know if you can see on the back there, the red wire goes to R, white wire goes to W, yellow wire goes to Y, and the green wire goes to G. This is a very typical setup, but it's not unique to everybody. So always double check your wiring and your system configuration compatibility first before you do anything. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to loosen all of these wires up. One thing I wanna check and make sure is that if you loosen these, we're not gonna just go right back inside the hole in the wall. So we'll take a panel screwdriver, loosen these up. Doesn't look like they're gonna go anywhere. And we're gonna get the screwdriver. For most people doing this, yes, you will have to either patch some holes or paint after this, so. I'm gonna take my new adapter I'm going to put that around everything. I think it's really nice. They included a nice little level inside there so you can tell exactly where level is. We're going to put it right there. Again, try to find the middle of all the slop, hold it nice and straight. Here we are wired back up. Yellow, white, red, green, corresponding colors. My house, this is just how it works out to be on this one. Um, for testing, we can go through and do this, but I'm gonna have to go back in and remove these guys and then patch holes and paint. 
probably tomorrow. Okay, there's not much to this next step. We're gonna take the uh, back of it here. They've put in a nice little uh, power prevention there to drain the batteries. So we'll go ahead and let the thermostat get its power. And then it's real simple, just these little six pins right here, push into these guys, two little dimples on top, hold it from coming off the wall. So we're just gonna take this here. And there we go. Put that down right there. We'll peel it up. All right. Now we're going to walk through the setup. So I ended up downloading the Google Home app and got that all set up and went through and it walked me through all the instructions for setting the nest up, um, which that part I honestly wasn't sure of. So if you're watching this, download that Google Home app and get in there and then when you get the nest and you're ready to do this, just start there because every step that I walk through, it made me walk through it again and select everything just to ensure that it had the right uh, setup. So wouldn't hurt to just download it off the start and do it. But got it up and running. Seems to be working good right now. So uh, tested all the functions. We're good. Quick and simple. I think this was for my house anyway. Pretty simple. What the temperature is, what you're setting it to, the mode that you're in. If you want to change it, just touch the side, slide down. Gives you an estimated time of how long it would take to cool. That's pretty interesting. 10 minutes to drop it down to 71 or to 70. Um, to change the mode, just touch the side once. It's on cooling right now. We're gonna, so we're gonna select the mode again. And then you can, we're in cool, heat cool, or in this case, we can go to heat. Indoor 71, heating to 73. We're gonna go back, whoops. And then we're gonna drop this down. Set it there so we don't, because we were just cooling, I wanna give it a little bit to wait. But that's a pretty easy menu to navigate. Just know to tap to go into something. Slide down to change it. Pretty neat.